Hello everybody, how are you doing? It is Saturday morning and I am out in the shop today. I really don't know what I'm gonna do, um, but I'm gonna find something to do and I'm gonna have a little fun today and I'm gonna bring you guys along on the journey. Um, I hope you can hear me okay with the camera in selfie mode. Uh, I have my earphones are around my neck uh, and this right here should pick up my voice. So hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, I am not going to keep these around my neck while I work. I only threw them around my neck so that I could use the phone in this mode to see if it helped. Um, I've had a lot of great suggestions on what I can do and things I can try. Nothing with the phone and programming of the phone has worked so far. Um, I thought about getting a lapel mic and I could do that. Uh, the, the one that I saw was, I wanna say it was about 80 bucks. Uh, so my second thought is uh, my kids really, they have these, uh, these iPod ear things they're called, I think that go in their ears. It's basically just these, but they're wireless. I thought about maybe getting a set of those because they're not a whole lot more than that. Uh, and then I can also use them for when I'm watching YouTube videos or listening to music or even taking phone calls. Um, so we're going to try this. And if this works, I may lean a little more that way. Other than that, I'm going to let you guys go for a little bit and just start puttering around out here and see what kind of trouble I can get into. Well, I'm on the third attempt of this latest project I'm working on. Um, I'm having trouble now with uh, the tenon. Uh, I went ahead and made this collar to thread on here uh, so that as I tapped it, you know, it would give it a little stability, but it's just, it's too fine. I mean, there's not, you can see there's just not a lot of meat there. So I'm going to have to rethink how I'm doing this. I don't know, going through a lot of blanks, but uh, we're going to figure it out. And when I do, I will show you guys and uh, hopefully bring you a video. I've got another blank on the lathe and I've trued it up to, I think it's 15, between, somewhere between 15.4 and 15.5 millimeters. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it with my M13.8 tap and then I'm going to put it on that uh, little red mandrel that I made the other day uh, in the video where I made the yellow pin. And that will allow me to go ahead and shape the pin with plenty of meat um, to hold it. And as well as I can, before I put it on that manager, I can go ahead and drill my holes up the middle and have those ready to go. Um, so then all I have to do is thin this down and part it off. And then I'll just lose a little bit of blank. But that blank, I can't find another way to hold this right now because I don't have a die that is, uh, you know, M8 by, by uh, one. So I don't know, it's just it's getting kind of crazy, but we're going to figure out a way to do this. And my hope is to, uh, to get this section made today so that... Uh, you know, I can call this a win. Here's a sneak peek at what I'm working on. I'm really excited how this is turning out. I finally figured this part out, took a while. Now the next trick is, how am I gonna hold this uh, to be able to shape the end of it? Uh, that's number one, and number two, did I leave enough room to where I can extend and retract the ink? We're gonna find out real soon. Keep your fingers crossed, it turns out. <laughs> I'm burning through a lot of blanks here, but uh, I, I am learning and I'm really excited with uh, how far I've come with this particular, this particular section. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna try to figure out the best way to grip it uh, in uh, my collet chuck without crushing the, the threaded tenon on the end because that's critical to this thing working. And once I get that thing once I find a good solid way to hold it, and I have an idea that I'm getting ready to start working on, I should be able to shape it down. And the next trick is uh, the retracting the ink. That, that's going to be the tricky part is it, when retracted, it needs to be inside the section. But then when ejected, it needs to be the right distance outside of the section. That's about a five millimeter difference. So pretty tight tolerance. But uh, Let's see, I'm not filming this except for what you guys are seeing. So let me get back to work and uh, I'll show you what I come up with. And if I'm happy with it, I may turn around and make, uh, make a video. I'm not 100% sure just yet whether I'll do this one or whether I'll save this one for the future. I figured out how to hold it in the old collet chuck. Uh, I shaped it up and now I'm in the process of sanding it. I need to take a little break for dinner, but uh, I'll be back out to finish it up uh, after. And I hope it holds together because I'm really getting happy with how this is uh, turning out. Keep you guys posted. First look at the new section. What do you think? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I want to show you guys something really cool. Check this out. Now, this is just a standard Sierra pin. I haven't got to the point of turning the pin yet, but this is a custom section. Check it out. 
threaded and using a transmission. There we go. Not too bad. What do you think? What do you think about that, guys? That's pretty cool, huh? I had a great time figuring out how to do that. Um, I ended up, I, I totally wasted one entire blank and half of another blank. And then uh, that little blue and white ice or blue ice or whatever it's called, white ice blank. Um, that was just a piece left over. The section left over on the second blank that I worked on was just a little too short. So that one offered me the uh, length that I needed. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> I need to go back, man. I tried to, I took notes on the first couple and then I had to totally change my method around and my notes are horrid. I, I'm not even sure I can refollow them. So I need to go back and refollow my notes and, uh, try, I, you know, I start out great when I do these pins, I'm taking notes like crazy. And, um, then as I work on them and I refine them, <laughs> I stop updating my notes and uh, rely on my brain, which is not good because, uh, I don't remember what I did half the time, but I need to go back and, and work back through, make one more of these, and then I'll be ready to put a video together. If anybody's interested, it doesn't, I don't know if anybody'd be interested in seeing how I did that or not, you know, so uh, let me know. Take care, guys. Uh, uh, this is the end for me. I'm calling it a night. Have a great evening, and I will see you again very, very soon.